Kajabi tutorial. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can get started with Kajabi. Kajabi allows you to monetize your knowledge as well as sell your own courses, build communities, and so much more. So let's get started. Now to get started with Kajabi, simply head on over to the description box and click on the link. Once you do that, you're just going to enter your first name, last name, and your email address, and then click on get started. Once you do, complete your payment information and you can move towards your Kajabi dashboard. So I'm going to complete my sign up, and this is what your Kajabi dashboard is going to look like. On the left, you have a navigation bar where you can scroll between the different products you can create, build sales pipelines, create your own website, as well as start email marketing. And then on the top right, you're going to have your account information. Now to get started with Kajabi, you do have a getting started tab, and this allows you to actually validate your idea where you can gather feedback on the type of product you're creating. If I want to build a course and I want to specifically have a knowledge about Canva. I want to convey knowledge about Canva and then what our topic would cover. I can generate all that information. And this actually just helps you in generating posts and validating your idea and then promoting it. And you can personalize your site and then proceed. But the easier way to get started is directly from course building, especially because depending on the type of course it is, it might take you longer uh, to build a course. So the way that you're going to get started with that is simply by clicking on product on the left, and then you will see all the different types of products you can create. Now we're going to be building a course, so we're going to click on courses over here. Once you click on courses, click on get started. And once you click on get started, you will see on the right side, you will have a preview of what your course is going to look like. And on the left, you can enter your title. So this is going to be Canva 101 and learn about Canva is going to be the description. And then after that, on the bottom, you have this option where you can use this info to generate a content and additional uh, resources. This helps you in generating content outlines. I'm not going to use this for now because we're going to set it up ourselves. We're going to click on next over here and then choose some of the primary colors that we want to use. So our primary colors and our accent colors can be chosen from here. And then you're going to choose your thumbnail. So you're going to click on upload new file and then select your device. Once you do that, you can select the image that you want to use, whatever Canva image or whatever image it might be, you can click on save and then click on upload one file and then use these images. You can set these up later as well, so you don't have to worry if you're not setting them up right now and then click on next. Once you click on next, you will have the ability to price your course, whether it's free or paid. I'm going to skip this for now because we're going to set this up at the end. Now, after this, we're going to proceed with the next step, which is going to be to start building our lessons. Now, by default, this is what your courses are going to look like. On the top, you will have your outline, then you have your customization, offers, customers, certificates, and settings. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to click on our first module and name it, which is going to be introduction or intro to Canva. And then I can add a description, learn about the basics of Canva from Canva sizing to adding audio to adding audio content and more. And then once I've provided a description, I'm going to save this module. Now a module basically is one categorization of your content and your courses can have multiple different modules and even create sub modules for further categorization. The actual sessions or the actual recordings are going to be added in the forms of lessons. So by default, you will have a blank lesson and you can click on this and you can name this. So this is going to be Canva sizing. And then after that, you can choose your media. So whatever video or audio file that you might have, you're going to upload that over here in your course. On the bottom, you can provide a description for that as well. And then after that, you can even provide a download. And this is something a lot of people often say, what is the purpose of providing downloads? 
Downloads could be things like free cheat sheets. They could be things like free digital downloads that you are providing as guides. They might be sizing templates or any other item that you're providing as value for the members of your course is going to be added as a download so they can easily download and use it. Now, once you've done that, on the right, you can set up a lesson thumbnail and you can choose the visibility of your comments. Click on save. And once you've done that, click on the top left to go back into your course. Now you will see that everything is going to be added as a draft and you have to publish things by yourself. Now, another really important thing to note is not only can you set up your lessons, but you can even set up quizzes. You can click on add content and then select a quiz, then go into settings here and name your quiz or this is just going to be called quiz one. And then I can go into settings over here, save my quiz name. I'm just going to save this and then go into questions on the left. Click on add question and start adding your question. So whatever question it might be, you can add it and you can add different types of questions as well. You can add multiple choice, you can add check boxes, upload your own file or even short answers. Let's say I want them to record your screen and change your canva canvas to 9 ratio 12 from 10 ratio 10 and then after that i can choose to make this a graded question if this is a graded question and it's a file upload then you're gonna have to grade this manually and if you want, you can also choose to make this a non-graded question. You can even set up a passing grade for every course as well. Once you've added all of your questions, you can add, add question and then you can add multiple choice check boxes. That's totally up to you, but I'm just going to leave it at one question and then you can click on save and then go back into your course. And just like that, we have added our first quiz. Now, so on and so forth, you can start adding content and publishing it as you go. And once you've done that, it's time to start selling your course. So the way that you're going to do that is simply by going into offers. And once you go into offers, click on add new offer. You're going to enter the offer title. So learn everything about easy design in Canva. And then you're going to select the products that are included in this offer, which is going to be our Canva 101. Then click on continue. And then we're going to select paid from here. Now, Kajabi has its own default payment system and you can click on connect over here and you can choose to get started with Kajabi payments. However, if Kajabi payments is not available in your region, you can just click on third party payment providers and scroll down over here, go into the payment provider section, and then you will have Stripe or PayPal. You can choose the one that you prefer and connect either your Stripe or PayPal account to start accepting payments. I'm going to be setting this up as a free course anyway, so we're just going to proceed. And then you can complete your text as well as uh, set up background colors, but we're going to customize this later, so I'm just going to click on save and finish. Now, once you click on save and finish, this is going to create a simple selling page for your course. However, that selling page is not going to be ready at all. So to actually prep that selling page and to make it look really nice and visually appealing, simply head on over into your offers section under sales, click on edit checkout. And once you click on edit checkout, you will actually see a preview of what your page currently looks like. So this is what this block looks like. It looks really blank and empty. So I'm going to remove this section here and I'm just going to add the what you'll get section. 10 exclusive Canva email templates. 10 exclusive Canva email templates. Everything professional, logo making. And then value number three is going to be easy Canva tools canva tips and tricks and then after that you can add any disclaimer or details about your course about the purchase as well below that you can also add videos hero images but the most important section is at the bottom which is testimonials so this is something i recommend you should be adding if you have previously sold a similar course if you have some type of testimonials make sure to add those over here as well once you've done that you're just going to click on save and your basic page is ready. 
You can also change the header by clicking on edit and then you can enable or disable the banner. You can add your own image. I'm going to remove the banner by unchecking the enable banner option. And once done, just click on get link and you will have a link to sell your course with Kajabi. Now, Kajabi is so diverse and it has so many different features, including course making, but you also have things like community building, you have coaching, and coaching allows you to provide live sessions as well. So you can proceed with any other product on Kajabi and set it up in the same way, step by step, with Kajabi's intuitive setup guide. And if you're looking for a 30 day free trial, make sure to check the description box down below for our exclusive link. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe.